Good morning, everyone. It is day 23 of our 40 days of increase. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this time. We thank you for this day. We thank you that you have called us to do decrease and increase in you. I pray that this uh, walk, this journey has been a blessing to all those who would watch, who would read, who would engage on the page. Father, help us to transform in these 40 days. Help us to see ourselves as you see us and help us to increase in the things of you and increase in our relationship with you. I thank you. I praise you. Remove anything from me that is not like you that would hinder this prayer or this word of encouragement and teaching uh, to glorify you. I thank you. I praise you. And it is in Jesus name that I pray. Amen. Amen. Good morning, everyone. It is day 23. And if you are reading along in our book, you will see that the author um, is writing about uh, the washing of the feet. She's talking about the washing of the feet and how, um, you know, um, many times we see that as um, an act of humility, which it was, right, of Jesus being the servant and serving others. But she also gives us a different perspective. Um, what if um, washing others' feet helps to clean us up, helps to purify us, right? Jesus knew in that moment, he knew that Judas was going to betray him. He knew um, that um, Peter was uh, going to deny him. And he knew that the other disciples would be running, right? Fleeing the scene. And yet he washed their feet. So not only was he being a servant, but maybe in that moment he was saying, you know what, I I know what you're going to do and I forgive you in advance and I love you anyway, right? I love you and I forgive you. And so maybe, maybe in that moment, maybe that's an example of us to forgive, to say, you know what, I know what you've done. I know what you're about to do, but I forgive you. I forgive you that much that I'm going to still kneel and serve you. Could could you do that? I know it'd be so difficult for me. It's difficult for me even now when when I know that people have uh, betrayed me, when people have disrespected me. It's it's difficult. It's a process, right? And so know that Jesus is still with us. Know that in the context of when we go and we know that people are going to hurt us and harm us, Jesus is right there with us. He's right there with us to heal our hearts, right? And so today we are fasting in armchair Jesus. What does that mean? Somebody, Jesus is not somebody who's just looking around and coaching us from the sidelines. She gives the analogy of, you know, watching a sports event. And when you're at home, it's easy to coach. It's easy to say what you would or you wouldn't do, right? But when you're in it, when you're in it, it's something different. We have Jesus who's right there with us. He's not in the background or on the sidelines. He's not an armchair Jesus coaching from the sidelines, telling us what we should do, how we should, how we should do it. He is right there with us. So today we're fasting the image that Jesus is so far away from us. And we're leaning into the fact. And and really being comforted by the fact that whatever fight we're in, he's right there with us. He's right next to us. All we have to do is just acknowledge him and accept him. He offers himself to us openly, freely, saying, I am here. But do we accept him? Or do we say, oh, this is too much for him. This is too much. It's too big for him. I know he's not here. So today, fast that mentality that Jesus is an armchair Jesus and cling to the fact that he is ever present, always with us, sharing in those experiences and in those circumstances with us. I pray that you are having an incredible journey. I pray that you're having encounters with the Lord. I pray that you can feel the change, the transformational change in your mind and in your spirit and in your heart. Thank you for joining me each and every day, whenever it is that you watch this video. You may not be a morning person. You may watch it on your lunch break or dinner. It doesn't matter. What matters is that we continue this journey. We lean into the Lord. We allow him to transform us from the inside out so that we truly can become whole for real. I will see you.
will see you all in the morning. Have a wonderful day.